I'm going to be talking. What else you want to say? Oh, no, you like you starting to get irritable. You can't get irritable now. Just when you put the camera on, you're going to start getting irritable. You can't get irritable now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you smiling? Oh, <laughs> that's a good girl. That's a good letter. <laughs> what else? Huh? Yeah. Oh, really? Are you going to go to Dumaguete with us today? Yeah, I think you are. Yeah. You like riding in the car, right? <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh, one day we will know what that means. But right now, it's it's fun just watching you try. <laughs> try. As far as I'm concerned, it might as well be Bisaya Filipino talk. I don't understand that either. <laughs> So you can add not understanding baby talk. Yeah. What? <laughs> Are you tired now talking? You plead the fifth? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you talk more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? You don't have your gloves on today. Oh, you suka. Uh, you suka a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Does it taste good the second time down? Yeah. What? What else you want to say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what does that mean? You're gonna go to Dumaguete. You're gonna ride in the car. Yeah. You want to ride in the car, right? You you like the breeze? <laughs> yeah. 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 What else? You got your nose. Yeah, your eyebrow. Yeah, your cheeks. You don't want me to touch your cheeks? No. <laughs> it's okay to touch your cheeks. Does that hurt you? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Mommy and I have a bet to see which word you say, for, you say first. Mommy first or daddy first? <laughs> are you, you going to say them both together? <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at y'all. Uh, no, yeah, don't, don't fake that sleep stuff on me. <laughs> don't fake that sleep stuff like you sleepy. Yeah, don't fake that. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, that woke you up. <laughs> what was that, daddy? What was that going down my mouth, huh? Hello, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to the Duchess. Good morning to you. Okay, you tired of talking? Mommy want to give you a bath anyway, because you, you bajo. Yeah, you <laughs> Don't be mad at me because of how you smell. Oh, you, oh, you want to get mad now? You want to get mad? <laughs> yeah? You want to get mad? Oh, you see your mommy over there, huh? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. You want to sit up now? Huh? Huh? Are you still going to talk? Are you going to talk? Huh? Yeah, okay, we'll talk. Did you have breakfast yet? <laughs> well, Daddy had oatmeal. I bought some oatmeal. I'm gonna have oatmeal this morning. Oatmeal is very good for you. I told your mother that she has to eat more vegetables, so this way you'll get more nutrition. <laughs> you want to stand now? You want to stand? Boy, yeah. Whoa. And make them straight. There you go. Oh, lock them again. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Okay. Let's let's see you crawl over to your mommy. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. You can crawl. You can do it. Go ahead, tiger. Ugh. 
<laughs> See, I knew you could do it, Tiger. <laughs> okay. Okay, Duchess. This has been our morning routine. Her and I talk, uh, try to say some words or so. Uh, you're watching <laughs> Gerard <laughs> Black and the Villain. <laughs> With the baby. <laughs> baby Queen Duchess. Okay, you want to say goodbye, Duchess? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, greetings, <laughs> everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is Gerard Black in the Philippines with Truth. I want to welcome all my subscribers, all my peaches, triggers, lovers, haters, commenters, each and every one of you, and scallywags. <laughs> each and every one of you, I welcome you to my channel. Um, you know, um, hold on. There's only two people downstairs, and I shouldn't be here either one. Hold on. That's better. I can't complain too loud because uh, Mia has Duchess in her arm and she's rocking in front of the TV and she's watching Morris Day. Ah, fly! Like the eagle! Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's very good because, see, now I have uh, her watching, uh, when the TV's watching imagery, that she sees imagery of black people uh, because I want her to identify with the positiveness or or I don't want to watch rap and I don't want not not that there's any that's being played here, but I don't want to, you know, have that type of influence or, or that type of imagery, you know, uh, on her. Although she's too young to comprehend that, you know, she's too young. I understand that. But you know, you know, my being black, I know sometimes kids you know, I uh, like Natasha, you know, and Anna, who I've known her when, when she was conceived with her husband and took pictures of her belly and all that stuff and she had the baby. And when she was able to have people hold her or be able to hold her, she would never let me hold her. She would, oh, let's go, oh, always like this. And, you know, I can understand because the culture, you know, of, of what she's always surrounded with with white people and all that stuff like that or like that. So seeing someone dark, you know, definitely would have, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, an impact on her, and it did for my like two two years. Or so although we saw them very often, she wouldn't let me touch her, wouldn't let me hold her, she wouldn't come to me. And then finally one day she did, and when she did, I think I spoke about it before that we were inseparable. We hung out all the time, and it was just terrific, you know. Uh, and um, so so anyway, so you know, I'm glad she saw an imagery imagery of of of. Of of um, of soul soul music, you know, watching them performing and play, you know, uh, I think she she uh, she'll grow up with a not neutral but a deeper deeper understanding of herself, you know, and and that's something that like I have a friend who has uh, who has um, a mixed child and who was she's going to get darker, she's going to get darker, so so what? You know, why are you concerned about how dark she's going to get? And we were at this party one time, and, and Mia was sitting and holding Duchess, and this this other kid who was a uh, who was a uh, uh, a mulatto, or you know, uh, you know, yeah, a mulatto, yeah, that's that's what, that's what they call uh, half white, half black. But he was like Nigerian black, her, her husband, you know, uh, and she was extremely dark, tall, tall and dark. And the woman next to her, the Filipino girl, was talking about, oh, she a nigga baby. And, you know, <laughs> like this, how dark she is. You know, and, and totally oblivious that Mia is sitting there holding Duchess. Because, you know, if, if she felt that way about her, you know, because she was dark-skinned, you know, then truly she would have felt the same way about Duchess when she knew that she was my, 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 my child. You know, so so yeah, so you know, I, I you know, I, I I want her to have you know have a, a, a understanding of who she. You hear this chair squeaky? This is the fourth goddamn <laughs> office chair I, I bought. And every time I buy them, they you know, <laughs> you know, because I'm so active on them, that I uh, I can't find a good one. They're all made from China or some damn where, you know. But uh, that's the noise you have. Apologize for that. But um, but yeah, you know I want her 
uh, um, uh, you know, to feel comfortable. You know, to feel comfortable. I know with Raphael and Michael Chris, uh, um, you know, uh, it, you know, it was not a far fetch for them to get into like me because you know, because of how I am with kids, they gravitated me rather quickly once they realized that they were out of the environment that they were in when it comes to mom and her relationships because she had a couple of you know a, a bad experience in those relationships when it came to her kids so um you know and uh, and i don't know what type of trauma the man was going through with them that they may have experience and that's why it's so important to me that when when her and i are having these discussions that they're not in the room because, you know, I don't want them to learn about me. I don't want them to learn about us. You know, I don't want them to know this. I don't want them to know this about us, you know, through osmosis because you you were able to have your ear pressed to the wall or sitting down in the living room where everything turned off and you sitting there like statues just listening. I've been there. I've seen that, you know. You know, I, you know, I, I saw the consequences of that. Even right now, I, don't, I haven't talked to my daughter over 30 years because of the, the shit that she you know, learned or not learned the, the, the negative impact that the mother had uh, uh, talked about me, you know, that uh, that they have that uh, awful, awful opinion of my oldest daughter. I mean, uh, hasn't talked to me or talked to me. my youngest daughter. You know, she eventually did. Right? And whenever we were together, I asked her, I would say to her, I said, Janelle, you know, what's going on with your sister? And she was, ah, don't ask me questions about my family. <laughs> I said, what? What? Girl, I made your family. Don't you understand that? Don't you know, everything in your life, everything that goes on, everything that happens to you, everything that you will do, you know, you know, you know, from, from, from your energy passing through the universe is because of me. You understand? Because of me. You know, same thing like, 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 uh, like, like, like with the Ukrainians, you know, uh, uh, the girl that's with Tatiana, here she is right here, you know. And um and uh and I had a lovely family, lovely family. Here they are right here. This is my Russian Ukrainian family, missing a few, you know. And um uh when her and I broke up, you know, um, you know, if I was to say, you know, what was the main reason? Oh, okay, I I'll tell you this. Story. We have time. We have time. This is unfair. I'm going to tell you the story and then I'm going to end it. Okay, I'm going to tell you the story. I told it to you one time, but let me tell you this part. Uh, I used to drive. I, I talk a lot about my driving experience when I had my own private car service. And I drove for the strip clubs. I drove for private people. People call me and say, Gerard, and I come pick them up. You know, I like this. You know, it was a nice gig. You know, uh, especially driving for the strip clubs. Because you know how much I love being around girls. So, I was always around girls. So anyway, so what happened was that uh, one day, um, my Lincoln wasn't working, and, or it was in the shop, so I would use her car. You know, when they would call me in the middle of the night, two, three, I would take her car and I would go. So this one night, I took a girl, you know, somewhere in Brooklyn, another one in Staten Island, I was buried. I had three girls. The one from Staten Island laid in the back seat and went to sleep, you know, because they're drunk, they're tired or whatever, you know. Go home and start all over again. <laughs> That's whatever it is they have to do. Right? So anyway, so uh, so I drop the girls off, and then, you know, I come home. Now, Mia has to, uh, is a school teacher this time. I mean, Tatiana is a school teacher this time, and she has to go to Brooklyn to go to school. And we live on Long Island, so it's a nice little commute for her. So she goes downstairs, and then I hear her upstairs, Gerard, Gerard. I said, yeah. She said, come down here. So, so I came downstairs. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What's the problem? She said, look, look at my car seat. You had sex in the back seat of my, of my car. And what it was is that the girl, who was sleeping in the back seat, drooled. She drooled, you know, on on, on the back seat because like, she was out for sleep. Like and so I looked at her. Uh, 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 she said, uh, she said, she said. 
You are a lizard. <laughs> a culture difference. I said, what the flock is a lizard? So she said, ask one of your Russian or Ukrainian girlfriends. <laughs> so I said, I said, okay. So I went to Marissa. Marissa is, uh, she's a dear friend of, of, of the family. You know, they grew up going around the same town and everything. So, and it was the closest one to her. Who I would ask, you know. So it's not like you're asking a stranger in the street and can tell you anything. You know, this person will give me the truth. So I said, uh, um, Larissa, uh, what's a lizard? She said, what's a lizard? She said, I said, yeah. She said, a lizard is a low, down, dirty, sneaky person. I said, what? <laughs> A low down, dirty, sneaky person. So I went back to Tatiana. I said, Tatiana, Marissa told me what a lizard was. Mm. I've been better off you just call me a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so uh, the other part of the story you heard and all that stuff like that. But anyway, so uh, uh, that's that that started, you know. And so uh, so I, I asked her. I, I said, Tatiana, and a lot of girls do it. Almost every girl I've had done it. Is that why do you think the worst of me? You know, why can't you think positive things about me? Uh, or you know, uh, 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 about the positive things I'm doing. You know, I had a magazine, and when we broke up, you know, I uh, I said, you know, you never supported me. You never support. You're a school teacher. Did you ever proof one of my magazines? No. Did you ever look at one of my magazines? She said no. I said, did you ever look at the photographs of my magazine? She said no. So I said, how in a flop? Then you can say you supported me. Huh? Oh man. So anyway, so you know that you know. Uh, uh, so that started, and then other thing with the party blue and all that stuff like that. Yeah, but, but she was getting a lot of flack because uh, she was with a black person. She wouldn't tell people at work she was with a black person. Although she's with all these these big collard green eating black sisters. Ah, my husband, my husband, my husband. How's your husband, Tatiana? Oh, I'm not married. <laughs> I mean, I'm not with nobody. <laughs> and so she used to bring her white friends home to meet me and wouldn't tell them I was black till, till, they, till I opened the door. <laughs> you know, so that gave me the kind of girl. But anyway, but then I worked for Al Sharpton. So, you know, I didn't tell a lot of black girls that I was with a white girl. So it was touche. You know, we, we, we both had our reasons why. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to stop this right here. Let me post this because I, I, I want to take a trip back to where um, Mia's first house was. I'm going to see it. And I want to take the boys there if it's, if, it's, if it's in the condition that my mind thinks it might be, because you know, you know, I want them to remember. We, you know, they say those who forget their past are doomed to repeat it. So um, yeah, I want to check it out. Okay, thanks for watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans awaiting action. Never disrespect the elder and pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. And the best of adventure in life is to live good. I'm living good today. If you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ali Woodson, former lead singer, The Temptation once sung, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make him feel like a king. And never say no. Remember, I always love you more. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Brother! Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you, brother. Uh, bro, let me have a cigarette. Say hello, Burley. Come and say hello. Say hello. hello, say hello. Hello, Burley. Hello. <laughs> this is my number one Good babysitter. Morning. Good morning. We're going out hello. tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yabba dabba. <laughs>